ago in 1939, a brave young Igbo man, Anozie, from Agwata in Anambra state of Nigeria, discovered bronze artifacts dated to the 9th century while digging a well in his compound. The find led to a subsequent discovery of three other archaeological sites by a man called Thorsten Shaw. These artifacts were of copper, iron, bronze, stone beads, pottery, glass, ivory, textiles, and more. The discovery shows that the artifacts were the oldest in West Africa. After the initial find by Anose, the then British colonial district officer of the area, J. O. Field, purchased many of the artifacts given out by Anose to his friends and published them in an anthropological journal. Mr. Field did not perceive the evil man as capable of blacksmithing and concluded that the finds were not related to the work of the evil man. Twenty years after Anose's find, in the year 1959 and again in 1964, Thorsten Shaw and his team of archaeologists excavated three sites around the original find, proving field wrong. The excavations revealed hundreds of copper and bronze ritual spare heads, iron razors, so many other artifacts dated a hundred years earlier. The Igbo who are today is not just the pride of the Igbo people, it is mentioned in the history of art in Nigeria and the first of its kind in West Africa. Its history and beauty draws tourists from far and near. <music>